everybody this is david aka the jumbo bunny bringing you a little bit of skirmish gameplay this is a, this isn't even skirmish gameplay it was not much of a game i would call this something along the lines of skirmish domination which will probably actually be the name of the video <laughs> and it, it was actually it was it was a really awesome time i was playing with my boy uh thor mx he you'll probably know him uh he is a uh, part with machinima and uh, we got we got the random no name guy the uh, the I think what was his name flammable sugar <laughs> flammable sugar flammable sugar took it to him <laughs> but no we, uh, we this was a really good gameplay I ended up going uh, seventeen and two if you if you've played a lot of skirmish you know you're not going to see just a massive uh, amount of kills on this game type because it is a little more pensive you have to play a little more controlled because you can't really jump out and do your own thing you're really you're really meant to stay with your group and, and are constantly uh, making sure you're reviving people. And, and that is really how you win this game type. Oh, <laughs> get on, Jumbo. Oh, man, I got destroyed. But uh, that, of course, is one of the two deaths that I had in this one. I ended up uh, actually wrapping this up with about a 12-kill streak, which is pretty awesome. And it was 12 or, 12 or 13. Oh, look at this guy trying to snipe the... Man, it's, it's the worst. There, you get some people that that just sit there the entire time trying to snipe that little hallway, and man, it's ridiculous. I was so glad I could shoot that dude in his face. But yeah, we we like I said, we pretty much took it to him on this one. And um, so no, what the the real the real kicker with this video is, I was wanting to ask you. I'm, I mean, I know one thing that is on the tip of all gamers' tongues right now, especially with uh, you know first person shooter players. How stoked are y'all for Advanced Warfare? I know I, I couldn't be more excited about it. Every, this is the, the time of renewal. Everybody is so bent out of shape and sick of the previous iteration Call of Duty that they're basically willing to play anything, which is one reason why I think that Destiny, with all of its flaws, the PvP has actually done really well. I think it's because it hit just perfect in the life cycle of Call of Duties. And, uh, and, you know, that's, to be honest, that that's really why I've probably played so much of it. It's not that I just love it that much. It's that I all but refuse to pick up and torture myself with ghosts anymore. Uh, I just, I, I, last few times I played it, it was just full of, of campers and, it, and people, it, every single game went to time, went to time limit. And it was just sad. Oh, look at that. Picking up that two piece and on a five kill kill streak with it too, which was awesome. And like I said, I'll I'll uh, I'll, I'll rack it up at that towards the end where I really start rolling and the team just we just uh, annihilate these guys. So what I feel like with Advanced Warfare is that it is kind of set to really regenerate and revive the the first person shooter games and and multiplayer games because right now I feel like on consoles. You, we've really had kind of a drought when it came to competitive multiplayer games, and not just, not even just first-person shooters, but just all around. I, I don't feel like there's been a lot of them. I think at this point in the in the life cycle of the PlayStation, we're just in that lull before we get a lot of options. Um, right now, it just seems like we're, we're a little dry in terms of co-op games and competitive multiplayer. But I think we're getting there yeah, for the for the PlayStation, and uh, so. How many of you guys have pre-ordered the game? I know I have, and I can't can't wait to uh, to break it open the day before. You never know if I wasn't uh, yeah, if I wasn't the boss, I I, I might might be uh, might feel a little sickly that day. <coughs> Maybe I need to take a day off work and uh, and, and recoup. But yeah, I, I'm I, I'm really excited about it. Again, I think it's going to usher in a new era for for this particular generation of consoles. And I'm I'm really thrilled about it. And what are the things that kind of have you the most excited? Are you excited for some of the new game types? Because I know some of these game types are actually being brought back from previous iterations. I know that there has, was a massive leak of information this weekend, which I've actually tried to avoid. I don't like having my my uh, opening the box and. And reading about it in my first playthroughs, I don't like have them, having them ruined 
by all this leaked information. So I've actually purposefully avoided learning much about that. So what are some things that, that have you excited, whether it's from the leak or if it's just some things that you've already been excited about and, and saying that it, you're just glad that it's not ghosts is, is perfectly sufficient a, uh, a reason to be excited. I know that's, that's a major reason for me too. So give me a heads up and, and let me know exactly how you're feeling about it. Uh, are you still, you, do you still think you're going to be playing Destiny? Is that something that you're going to kind of stick with and, uh, and try to power through? Are you only going to come back for the expansion? Because I know a lot of people are doing that too. So from, for now, this is your boy Jumbo Bunny, and I hope you've enjoyed this one. Please come back and see me for the next one, and if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have a good day. I know I have. Peace out.